Greetings, child of God. It is going to be a great ride to Zenith. At uh, this moment, you are going to deal with invisible barriers, uh, breaking invisible barriers. The Bible says in the book of uh, 1 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse number 18, For we wanted to come to you. Certainly I, Paul, did again and again, but Satan blocked our way. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10 to 18, Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God, so that uh, you can take your stand against the evil schemes. For our wrestle and our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. Therefore put on uh, the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand from then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet uh, fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasion with all kind of prayers and request with this in mind be alert always keep on praying for all uh, lords uh, people what is a barrier a barrier is a wall a fence a hedge or barricade that prevent access or movement b things opposing us from becoming who god wants us to be c obstacles that can prevent a man from attaining a certain goal or reach a certain height in life and destiny. Invisible barriers are not visible to the physical eyes, but their manifestations are seen in the physical realm, in every aspect of life. What are these invisible barriers? According to Ephesians 6.12, they are principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world spiritual wickedness in high places spiritual battles are more aggressive and dangerous than physical one we are engaged in conflict with the devil and his agents 24 7 and they cannot be detected with physical eyes these barriers are not imaginary they are real a warfare is against a determined and well-organized enemy. A child of God that is led by the Spirit will not succumb to the tricks of the enemy. And they will always be ahead. You cannot dislodge these barriers in the arms of the flesh. We can only overcome the enemy of our destiny by engaging ourselves to prevail on our prayer altar. Enemies don't easily submit. They need a higher power to dislodge them. The more power we acquire from the prayer altar, the more advantage we have over the enemy and his agents. If you refuse to travail on your prayer altar, you have chosen to remain uh, the same. The gods of Egyptian were behind the suffering of the children of Israel. Your inheritance in the great grace, Riam, is very real, but the enemy has always been contending and fighting you. Now, someone is asking, how can we prevent barriers from blocking our great grace, Riam? We must continue to demonstrate our love for God. When we grow our love for God, we become carriers of the fullness of God. No barrier can stand a true lover of God. A lover of God will be set on high and God will deliver him from all manners of enemies and challenges. Number two, you must be planted in the house of God, a church. So if you don't have a church, make sure you look for one. The church is a city of refuge forever. 
You must never be a visitor in church. You can only be a visitor once. Thereafter, you must become planted. A tree is always remain in the same position where it is planted. Not being planted, moving up and down. Open doors for the enemy to access us. Be like a tree. Refuse to be moved here and there. Choose to be planted so that the grace upon the set man can keep on working for you. Decide to always come to church whenever there is service. Number three. Keep on trusting God. Number four, remain committed to serving God and the, in, uh, the interest um, of his kingdom. Everyone's, everyone committed to serving God and the interest of his kingdom enjoys the following. Number one, freedom from all manner of oppression. Number two, divine health, protection, provision, and exemption. Number three, long life and full of strength. Number four, marital peace and harmony. Number five, financial liberty. Number six, business and career breakthrough. Number seven, academic excellence. Number eight, spiritual progress. Number nine, a studious lifestyle. Now we are going to go deeper in the prophetic decrees and prayer. This moment as we engage in our prayers altar, all sorts of barrier hindering us from entering our great grace realm are falling in the name of Jesus. As you engage on your prayer altar, this moment, every barrier responsible for lack of money in your life, I dislocate it and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Everyone looking for the fruit of the womb, by reason of you coming to this prayer service, I dislodge and dislocate the force of the barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare multiplication in your business in the name of Jesus. As you ascend your prayer altar, I declare multiplication in all areas of your life. I prophesy to your womb as I stand in the shoes of uh, uh, as a prophet. Uh, let that womb conceive. I prophesy by the end of this year you will conceive. Any marriage uh, that is on the rock, I prophesy it restored in the name of Jesus. Uh, I prophesy restoration to it. Um, this moment is your moment of breakthrough. As you travel on your prayer altar, you shall access power to cause changes in Jesus' mighty name. The God of this commission is changing your story in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare for everyone ready uh, for marriage, for business, uh, to go abroad, uh, that by, your, by you accessing this service, uh, you shall find uh, your victory and access in the name of Jesus. Uh, I decree that you will testify. The hand of God is going to go with you. By reason of high voltage of power, you will access this moment. Uh, the God of this commission uh, will put dread and fear upon your enemies uh, in Jesus' mighty name. From today, the God of this commission uh, will put the fear uh, of you upon all barriers in the name of Jesus. Every barrier preventing your vision helpers uh, from seeing you, I dislocate them and I disconnect them in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I will you will succeed and I will be able to witness uh, the hand of God doing great and mighty things upon your life uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Every barrier promoting frustration in your life, I command it out in the name of Jesus. You will pray effectively from today. You will pray correctly in the name of Jesus. I declare as I stand uh, in this altar as a messenger of God, as you travel on your prayer altar, no sickness and disease will challenge you in the name of Jesus. As you travel on your prayer altar, this moment you shall live far above challenges of life. Everywhere you go, people shall say, wow. As you travel on your prayer altar this moment, God is decorating your life. God is changing your story. No weakness is permitted to remain in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. No one under the sound of my voice is permitted to be weak in the name of Jesus. As you travel on your altar of prayer tonight, all barriers will be cleared off away in the name of Jesus Christ. A lack of love, lack of peace, lack of money um, uh, uh, is hereby destroyed permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, from today, you love God with all your heart, spirit, soul, and body. As you travel on your prayer altar, receive the grace to have your heart connected with the grace uh, flowing upon this commission uh, and the grace uh, upon his servant uh, in Jesus' mighty name. I stand in the shoes uh, 
as the prophet um, from tonight you shall be planted in the soul of uh, uh, um, uh, of uh, uh, winning and shining in Jesus' mighty name. Because you have chosen to be planted uh, uh, in the ground of this commission, sickness and disease shall never uh, ravage you in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, you are declared fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall flourish in this commission in the name of Jesus Christ. From tonight, uh, you love uh, uh, to be in church whenever there is service in the name of Jesus. I hereby declare that from tonight, uh, as you've chosen to be planted uh, in this God's generation ministry no devil shall pursue you in the name of jesus christ from tonight the god of this commission shall surround you in the name of jesus christ all barriers are declared off uh, your path in the name of jesus christ you are going to win you are going to shine you are going to win financially emotionally in jesus mighty name you have favor with god and you have favor with man from this day people will favor you in the name of jesus christ you will find favor with people that you've never expected Every invisible barrier is broken permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. We do pray and we believe. Shout a better amen. With a better voice, shout a better amen.